Let's see how it's done in this web dev shorts that nobody asked for. Let's start by creating a template. We can give it some dummy title just for fun. Then we create a section with all the artwork layers. We have four of them. Also, we add the header text. Let's not forget to import the CSS file. We can add a second section for being able to scroll on the page and see the parallax effect. The template is ready, let's see how it looks so far. Ugly. We can now add some styling to make it looks gorgeous. Let's add some basic styling that you shouldn't really care. Then for styling the sections we will add the following. Relative position to cover all the absolute layers that we added. We center everything in the middle of the screen using flex. And we set the dimensions of the sections to fit the entire screen. Of course, overflow is not allowed here. Let's check what happened in the browser already. What is this? Let's add some more styling. Size and uppercase for the text. Finally, the text looks good. Now we can focus on the parallax section. We first add a nice background that will cover all the screen. Background OK. Let's remember that for the hero section, we added four images that when will be stacked, will give us a nice mountains landscape. We stack them by setting the position absolute for each of them and align to bottom and left. The width is 100% to fit the screen. Now it looks gorgeous. For the header text we set the relative position because, you'll see that in the script, we will play with the positioning so we need the relative position set here to enable the positioning properties. Also we move the text a few pixels upper. We set the index of the text to 3 just to have it in the middle of the layers. Looks good. Now, we import the magic wand and we write the spell. First we select the header text by its ID. Then we add a scroll event listener, and here we get the scrolled position, and multiply it by, let's say, 2.5. With this value, we set the bottom position of the header text. So, every time the user scroll an amount of pixels, the text will move double of that. With a few index updates, we can order the layers in a logical order. Now it looks awesome. We can play with the rest of the forest layers. Voila! Give a like and subscribe if you want to be a multiverse boss. Thanks for watching.